guys, I'm Paige and I'm going to be showing you how to make some shaving cream dough. So you're going to need shaving cream, any brand, food coloring, you're also going to need a container, some teaspoon and tablespoon measurements, Meyer brand cornstarch, any brand will work good, but this is where me and my mom shop. And you're also going to need a popsicle stick for stirring. So you're going to take your shaving cream, food coloring, corn and cornstarch, and you're going to t get a tablespoon of cornstarch and mix it in with a pretty good size, pretty big amount of shaving cream. Don't forget to add coloring to make it look legit. And then when you're done, it should look something like this. Like all nice and clumped together. What we're gonna be needing, we're gonna be making marbled prints on paper using shaving cream. So you're gonna need a plate, shaving cream, duh. We're gonna need some paper. Food coloring again, and another pot. So let's thing. get our shaving cream and do that on the on the plate. We won't be needing that anymore. Now we're gonna pick a color. I think I'll do some purple. Oh wait, there's none left. Okay, so let's do blue. That's always my backup color. I usually do green first up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just stick it on top. Since it's not close together, we're gonna just do it separated. But you tend to wanna do it close. So now we're gonna use our popsicle stick and literally smooth it out. You see how cool that looks? So we're just gonna do this. This is what we're gonna look like. You can make them look way cooler than this, but this is what I'm gonna do today. So now you're gonna take your paper and your marble print, set this aside, like set it by a trash can actually, so it doesn't affect your paper. And we're going to literally, let have, do you see the white marks here? You probably can't actually. And then you're literally going to press down on it. You can see through the paper what's happening. And then we're going to slowly literally lift up. Voila. And this is what it looks like down there. It's, isn't it cool with like stalagmites or like Elsa's frozen ice castle? To make, and now we're gonna make shaving cream bath paint. So you're gonna need shaving cream, a container, popsicle stick, food coloring, and dish soap. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shaving cream. Spray some in there. You want a pile that looks about this big. Add some color, because everything needs color. And if you want, you can add some glitter. And then all you add, you're gonna add a little bit of dish soap, because if this is gonna be, just add a little bit. Because dish soap is soap. And if this will be bathtub paint, then you want it to wash off your bathtub walls and not leave food coloring stains. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna wash this. So you mix it till it's something like this. The best way to store this stuff is to put it inside muffin trays. So let's go test it out. So I got my stuff and now, you're gonna sit tight and paint with it. Paint, so it look like, like, see my invisible parentheses, don't you? Why, of course not, they're invisible. So let's try this out. We need some more. <laughs> there I'll have my cockeyed lips in this. There's my cockeyed smiley face. 
But the best thing about these kind of bathtub paints is that you can easily wash them off. So I'm gonna get my hand wet in a sec and get these rinsed. So this, my masterpiece, this is what it turns out like. I already put one, I already put a little bit of water on top of it, but let's, let's finish it out and see what happens. Well, there I go. This is why you add soap to it rather than just shaving cream, otherwise it'll take more effort to get off. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up, guys, and subscribe to my channel by hitting the big red button below. Thanks for watching.